So, oh, I forgot to pull up my thing that gives me re my recap. My recap. I wrote it out today, and I still forgot what happened. That's my... Uh, I fought a big dog. That's my uh, get back into the D&D &D zone is making up the recap because I got to remember what happened. and Because I thought, I, I'm thinking, you know what? I should just do this after the session. But it, right does, after. It, it does a really good job of like making me, okay, what happened? Like replay what happened and try to remember what all happened. And uh, if I waited a week to write a recap, I would pretty much have to watch a VOD because there is <laughs> not a chance that I would remember everything. So last week, uh, you guys were in the city of Emir, uh, the capital city of Emir. We got a fancy new map that I was partially complete that I have crafted up. And it's spent way more time than it should have. But I think next from next time, next campaign, all that stuff, I'm doing this. I'm not doing the Wonder Draft thing, even though Wonder Draft is fun. Um, I think this is more more feasible and also I think more like helpful to you to remember things. Because I think if I if I can't remember things, there's no way you guys remember anything. So <laughs> this might help by like remember because I remember things when I look at it on the map and I can then I help really remember things. This might help you a little bit. Um, anyway, like you guys were in the city of Amir, uh, if you hit tab, those of you that weren't here earlier, you hit tab and it should tell you, it should flag little things. I think it does. Um, it will tell you, because these aren't necessarily GM things. Hey, thanks, Claiborne. Thanks for the sub. Okay, um, so, uh, you know what? Having a tab button would be nice to have, but I don't have a tab button. <laughs> so, Joe and Francisco, hit tab and tell me if it tells, if it says names when you zoom in on those towns. No. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make you GM then. Not special. Then. I'll make you GM, and so that you can see that stuff. Not that it really matters. I'll, I'll do it in a minute. Um, but every town has like a little label on it, and you can see that it's a GM. I guess there's no way. Surely there's a way of putting labels on here. Um, I started out making like little flags and then putting pebbles on it to spell out the words of the towns. <laughs> I was like, this is gonna take way too tedious. <laughs> So, uh, is there an add on for words now? There's like mod support, yeah. They got mod support. I added some of the mods, um, but I don't know how to use them. I added in the character sheet one and the 5e tools one and something else, but I don't know how to use them. So, if anyone knows how to use them, I didn't, I didn't watch the video, I just came in clicking things, hoping it would work. But, uh, anyway, you guys were in the town of, of uh, Amir City, the big one here. Big, big town. And uh, while you were there, you were trying to figure out how to go and get to the archive room of the um, uh, library museum place. Um, you failed. Uh, they weren't you, having it. You tried to get in and have a chat with the king. You failed. Um, and you started asking questions to uh, Varys, uh, the librarian, and it seemed to raise some suspicion. Uh, in the town. Uh, also, while that was happening, uh, Saren went to the temporal, Temple of Mithra. The big crowd gathered around because you got the whole twilight thing, constant twilight thing, and a lot of concerned folks, but but uh, Saren uh, went in and, and eased some uh, some nerves. Also discovered that there's a couple other folks that have uh, feel how you feel about Mithra being here. Um, there's new feelings. And um, you um, got a little spooked as Vera started talking about how important some of these artifacts could possibly be and how, uh, and, and so you ran away. You snuck your way through the town, you escaped, you ran out through the woods, the very dense woods of the Amir woods, um, and you trot, trotted your way through the woods, across the road, through more woods, and you stumbled upon, before stumbling upon the, the big scary demon beast, um, you found a um, signs of, of bandits nearby. And you are, as we speak, um, let me grab, let me grab someone for you. Well, I got sunny cheeks. Oh, he's kind of tiny. He kind of blends into the forest there. <laughs> and we go put him on top of the forest. You're about, yeah, you're, you're about right there. Oh, you know what? If I change, if I change the feet in, in by square thing, is it for the whole campaign or is it just per map? I think it's the campaign. Oh, bummer. I'll have to come up with like a, with a, um. Because I, I put these, so I, the, in Wonder Draft, you can put down a grid. So I put down a grid in Wonder Draft. So a lot of this stuff is like, square, you know, I, I spent some time counting squares <laughs> and placing towns and counting squares. A lot of this stuff is pretty, pretty exact to my map 
some some stuff not so much when I got tired of it. Um, but <laughs> so I need to come up with a uh, a good. Um, Can't you? There's an add-on where you can lay the map in. Yeah, um, I was gonna do that, but I figured by the time I spent all the time trying to figure out how to get that mod working and getting it placed, and then start placing things, I would have gotten half the thing done. You so. used to. You can just get one of those mod managers and hit install. I had it working one time. I did it. I tried to do it. For I fiddled with time. it. I didn't ever mess with the map thing, but I fiddled with some of the stuff in the mod manager. Yeah. But um, anyway, you guys, uh, you left off. So you, you killed the big demon beast thing. Um, yep. And you were standing in the woods. Um, there was a uh, like a small cave up just to your north. I don't know if I said that or not, but there's some, like, lots of burned ground around. You're deep in the dense forest. You were on your way to the north up to the fire caves, which are up this way. Let me put this on. Bigger one. There we go. That's these, right? Yeah. That's where you're heading. Up to the uh, mountains is it, and the fire caves. Is it super weird to have found this creature out in this forest? Uh, No. It's not super weird. Uh, you know that, like, um, all creatures of the world live somewhere. <laughs> and you know that this world oh, is right. not... Plus, that's this, awesome. this world does not consist of any planes that you yeah. know of. I forgot about that part. <laughs> and so it is not definitely not... A, not. I mean, it's not... You're not going to find those things walking around in a city. But... Um, <clears> and <throat> Saren knows that the woods, outside of the roads, outside of, like, the cities, it's pretty dangerous. There's... There's werebears out there. Um, there's um, bandits love these woods. There's all kinds of creatures that hang out. They, they don't they don't fit in the society like like to hang out in these woods. That's sad. <laughs> so so <laughs> you are in the woods, heading north. I think we made it. You made it like seven days because you're going you going like a like a couple squares a day. Look at that. Uh, on your way through here because these woods are very thick. Once you get out of the woods, you'll be a much better pace. But right now you're very slowly bushwhacking your way through the um through the woods. Um Eric, can I get some music for our Atlas map? Oh yes. yes. <laughs> let me let me let me get the atmosphere good, set up. Good in traveling here. music. Uh the skies today, it has remarkably cooled off. It was you were dying the past week. It was hot. But a cool it front came in. It's a little overcast. It's nice and uh, giant it's, it's, storm hit in the morning. It's it's muggy, but it's, it's uh muggy. it's it's thirty degrees cooler than it was last last week. Oh yeah. <laughs> is it nighttime or daytime right now? It is twilight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If uh, I'm gonna don't if I know you put lights on the other one, don't put any lights on this one because this is gonna be I a pretty you. hefty map, and lights are. I'm trying to ease up on the assets that are in there, and most of them, most of them are cave, but lights are like they they kill the performance. Yeah, because they have to like render it. Yeah, everything else is okay, but just lights and CCTV all, cameras. All the security cameras you want. There's <laughs> no lights. <laughs> just lights. <laughs> Anything that has any sort of motion or any sort of reflectivity, that's all the bad stuff. That's what makes it look really good, though. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, especially the lights, but maybe like one light per town. Uh, do we know? Do I know if there's any uh, anything of value that can be harvested playing. off of this beastie? You can go ahead and roll me a nature check. Check that thing out. As you're uh, r rummaging around and checking this thing out, um, you go and you oh, like, you put your hand on it, and it, it, like come, like a lot of its skin like flakes off onto your hand, like like burned wood. Um, and it's hot. It isn't like you stick your hand on it. It is noticeably hot. Uh, a lot of the um, blood. Or whatever liquid was inside of it, it started kind of poured out. Remember, it exploded. A lot of it has, has poured out and drizzled out of its skin and is sort of burning. There's little flames are kind of licking up and going out on the ground around you. It's pretty, uh, pretty wet around here, so nothing's catching fire. But there's plenty of um, there's a lot of heat coming from this guy. But yeah, with that roll, you're not finding um, everything is is since it's dead, everything's real delicate, kind of just like crumbly, like like coal. Charcoal. So uh, we'll say it's it's you're on the evening of day seven. Um, if anything you want to do, let me know, and we'll continue traveling north. Uh, since we have a map, 
Go ahead and give me a survival check real quick. Ooh, spooky. Survival. Twilight. It's eternal twilight. Uh, 25. Survival. Okay. survival. Oh, yeah. Where would you like to go? Which which direction would you like to go? So you are... Um, oh, let me give you... I forget We're the most survival, survival boys ever, dude. We could not um, get lost. 19 perception if it matters. Okay. Uh, I forget how to... Oh, here it is. Okay, so everyone's been given GM permissions. And so you can now hit tab. And if you zoom in, zoom in, you can see names on things. Oh, there's me in the trees. Yeah, there's you in the trees too. It has kind this of a it has a close here. a close range. But you can get an yeah, idea. Yeah, it's the where... little circle. You can see the circle on the ground where it lets you see the names. So that way we can get an idea where so you can see some names. So you're trying to go up, up to here. You guys are here where uh, where Sunny Cheeks is hanging out. You're deep in the woods, and you're heading out this way. How do you want to go? So you know, uh, Saren knows that last time you were through here, when you guys, well, you all knew this, that the, the lizards seemed to have stopped about the trees. You're not sure how far they went this way, but you know that they stopped around the tree line here. And so, so the easiest thing for us to do would be like the fastest way is the road. Yeah. And the road you're making it like six squares a day. I'll I'll figure these out later on. So these are temporary six squares a day. Um, <laughs> no, no, you said six squares a day. <laughs> all the stuff that's like the mountain area, all the stuff that's up here, you don't really know what's there. Um, you know it's barren and mountainy, but you don't really know what's there. So could we come out here and then just like creep up and over? Yeah. That's kind of you what know. I was thinking. I don't know how yeah, wide avoid these, we yeah. need to give that. Like, we may need to go... We don't need well, super wide, I don't think. It's a little safer. And I say we do just take the easy route. Let's go Let's go wide. Like out like that? Yeah, we can cut... We can Wait, come out around, like, down here. Too wide. And then, then we have to climb out a mountain? Here. Well, we just skirt the edge of it right over here. We come out down here. We're away from where the lizardmen are. And then we can cut out over here. Uh, Okay. Crossing, crossing over these mountains is going to be slow, slow going. Let me come up like that and just sort of mm -hmm. bottom of it. something like that. Yeah, we don't want to go up. Yeah, we don't want to go into the mountains. Right. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, on your as you start walking, it's uh, we'll, we'll go. We'll do a rest real quick. So. Um, you guys are just finding your uh, uh, a little hidey hole like you've been doing the whole time. You get a really good spot with your survival. You find a nice, comfy spot. What is the watch? I should have done this last time, but I wanted to kind of get you to a point. Uh, what is who's on watch? There's the three watches and Eru first, Saren second, Zarek third. That's usually our, kind of our system or the system yeah. you've been doing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just give me a um, just give me a perception. This will be kind of a blanket perception while we're in the trees. For um, for your watches, you don't have to roll another one. If you know why, Isaac, I got your. I'll take my nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is this twenty five? A mirror farm supposed to be Ikora Farms. Yes. Okay. Making sure. <clears throat> oh, it changed. Sweet. Okay. Um. Just like that, lizardman conquered. The Emir Farms. The um, the night after you move a little bit forward. The night after killing this beast. Um, Ahoy there, matey. Hey, thanks, Jackson. Uh, you uh, camp out. It's pretty quiet in these woods. You do hear a bunch of animals, and you know that uh, as quiet as in like uh, anything other than animals in the woods. Um, you know there's maybe banished nearby, so you're on the lookout, and um, but you don't see anything. We're in the Arrow. hut, right? You know, hut. Is that correct? Are we are we using the hut every night? I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. okay. And Figured you guys are, and everyone's gonna be sitting inside. Um, yeah. Okay. Saren, you uh, as you're sitting in in the tent. This is gonna be the first night after the after the beast, 
which is just an hour or two after killing it. Um, you, you don't... You rolled a 20, didn't you? I rolled a 25. 25, 18 perception, okay. Um, you catch... You manage to just catch a glint. You're sitting in the huts, and it's real thick. Like, you can't see more than 30 feet out there. It's just so thick with woods and bushes and all that stuff. But you catch a glint can only be des described as, as it's metal, something metal. It's glinting um, off of, um, well, you don't know what's giving off the light. But some sort of glint is catching you. Thanks, Jackson. Um, but you, you catch that glint, which of course stands out to you because there is no moonlight, there is no sunlight, there is no, nothing should be glinting in the woods. Mm. And it's it's about thirty feet away, up in a tree. I'll start nudging who's next to me. Everybody, you're in a you're in a tiny hut. You're in a tiny, <laughs> you're in a tiny hut. <laughs> <laughs> start nudging everybody. Crawl takes up half of it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah. Look. You see that? get up my spyglass <laughs> look at it if I can it was just there for a moment and you don't see it anymore it's where there was something right there well, man these old diamonds I tell you what <laughs> I'm just seeing I'm feeling things I'm just seeing things I'm, everyone I'm, I'm, I'm going on. a bit everyone can make me a perception <laughs> check if you wish if you want to look okay. Sit, yeah. sit in your hut and stick your face up against the glass. And... <laughs> 20. Oh, what? I did not roll well. No, not a crit, but I got a 20. Oh. Again. Plus one. Nope. Zarek. Yes. You're looking out there, and you're pretty sure something's... It's not where he's looking, but down below that tree... You see a couple at the very bottoms of boots through the brush. You see a boot, a boot, and you lose it. I, I uh, pointed out. Say it was. It was right there. <laughs> Probably no, bandits. We know there are bandits in the in the forest. Yeah. I would say wait until day and we can go investigate, but it's not going to get any brighter. So <laughs> <laughs> you can still sleep in here. They can't get in, right? Yep. Yeah, we're fine. So unless they can dispel it. Fantastic. I'll, uh, I'll I'm going to go back to sleep. <laughs> back to Tuba sleep. Back to Tuba sleep. Okay, you go back to sleep. Zarek, your watch is up. All right. You don't <laughs> don't see anything else. But you're surprised you saw anything in these woods. Morning sort of comes. <laughs> you know it's morning the, of time because the dome disappears. And you're like, oh, I guess it's been eight hours. Yep. I'm like, oh, oh, man. <laughs> Just wake up to the breeze. Did, uh, did anyone see anything else last night? Just that. Okay. Just the back of my eyelids, friend. <laughs> Let's keep moving at in. Okay, hey, you begin moving. And... I want to try to branch off just a little ways, like 15, 20 feet, and be hidden. Okay, give me stealth. Twenty-three. Okay, you, you feel hidden. No one, your party loses you. <laughs> <laughs> Where would he go? <laughs> um. All right, keep moving. Keep on moving, and we're slowed down a little bit though. Because oh wait, no, you're super fast. You can sneak. Yeah, as he fast goes as fast as, as you guys walk, and you guys are slow anyway. So you're <laughs> real slow. You're kind of hacking yeah. your way through these bushes. <laughs> um. 
Er was nimbly crawling around bushes and making his way through. Uh, so you get about an hour out, and you begin to hear this. You hear this what can only be described as mechanical. Ooh, something spinning up. And you catch, again, same same brightness. Um, Saren and Goder, Sunny Cheeks, you can see a little red glow coming from the woods. And as as all of... I will stop send a message to Saren. Do you hear that? All of you, as soon as this happens, uh, the trees begin to sway. Eru, you notice... How far away from you from the party are you? Like 15, 20 feet. So, um... We'll say you're to the right of the party. Okay. Um, the trees swaying, you look over it, and the trees to your right are swaying. It's a very localized thing. They're not swaying where you are, but where they are, it's swaying in a little patch. The trees are, okay. are shaking around. The trees stop. And you hear a, a booming voice that's just like echoes throughout the forest. And it says... Lay down two gold apiece, and you may pass. In this sort of James Earl Jones deep voice, which I cannot do. <laughs> oh, I know this trick, fellas. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh... I'm looking around. Do I see anything else? You hear that world that whirring noise. You don't see the light, but you hear the whirring noise. Noise. It's still it's 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 cooked up and it's it's whirring. Um, but you don't see anything else. Can you give me a perception check. Twenty three. You're sitting there looking, and you're looking over at the party, and you see where that hear that whirring is coming from, and you look up. And there's a monkey sitting in the tree branch, lo just looking, just like you are, just watching the party. And you look over the next tree, and there's a there's a bird sitting there looking. And you look over behind you, see, thinking this is strange. There's a monkey and a bird watching, and you look behind you with a booming voice, uh, and you see there's a squirrel, and it's just sitting in the tree watching. And they're all just looking at your party. They don't seem to be aware of you. Okay, I'll just... Booming voice comes uh, up again. How, how close are they to me, the animals? Uh, the monkey's just right in the tree right above your head. They're, they're, they're all within 20 feet, within 15 feet of you. Okay. Another booming voice. As I said, two gold. Do it now or it becomes three. Do I see any of the animals moving when that voice happens? Mm -hmm. Where's the curtain? <laughs> I was the great and powerful. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> I think we can make it. I think we can make a quick escape here. I don't think we have to do anything here. Yeah, I'd say we just uh, keep your head, keep, keep looking around, just keep moving. All of a sudden, that, that yeah. red little light that Sunny Cheeks and Saren sees flashes real bright. And this black ball of energy comes flying through the forest and lands at your feet and explodes. And as it hits, the grass kind of wilts. Boy. Some dirt scatters up. Next one's coming for your head, little one. Can I see, <laughs> can I see where that came from? Uh, yeah, when it, when it, when it flashed up bright, you saw it. It's up in front of you, about 25 feet up into your left a little bit. It's like it's in a tree. I am going to use, cast. okay. Uh, you know what? Have the animals changed anything since that thing happened? No, they're, um, they're not frozen. They're just watching. They're just sort of enjoying like the show. Like that a little minor explosion or whatever happened, and they're just still just chilling? Yeah. 
Can I make a perception check and see if I know where? Sure. I'm gonna cast. Yeah, yeah, I know. A uh, warding wind. Okay. Oh, nope, I don't see anything with the ten. Does the the monkey above me? Does it seem? Is it an illusion or of some kind? Give me a nature or animal handling check. Not animal hand like. I understand okay. you're not doing that, but to give him to give you a description of him. Uh, okay. So we, I, if I guess I know perception. Exactly if you're trying to figure out he's illusion, do me perception. Well, okay, he's talking about the monkeys. Uh, I think investigation would be more like you're like touching the monkey and trying to like <laughs> okay. decide if it's real. So, yeah, you're just looking at it real hard. Twenty. Uh, the monkey is now smiling. <laughs> what? He's like a creepy little monkey. He's, in like a got tree. A, he's got one arm up on a branch, and he's like scratching, and he's he's like he's enjoying the show. All right, oh. I'm going to uh, blast that tree with a thing of wind, gust of wind. No, I'll get in a second. The one that's 25 feet away. Yeah. Okay. 60 feet long, 10 foot wide blast of wind. Is it a save for me? Yep. Okay. Uh, you'll need to make a strength saving throw. My dice. 15. <laughs> My dice. Oh, he made it. Oh, wait. Actually, I don't know. Um, I okay, so... And it pushes him back 5 feet? 15 feet. 15 feet. Okay, so you blast this blast of air, which pushes a bunch of the trees aside. And just for a second, as they, as they split... Um, you can see this, there's a creature up in the tree. He's got this, he's gray, um, almost mechanical looking. Uh, you, you, it's a, it's a Maru probably. Yeah, yeah. And it's beginning to move away. It made its shot, it's beginning to move away, but you, you got enough width. Width, You yeah. blast this guy and you can see him, oh, and he goes flying off the tree. Ooh, and you hear a thud as he hits the ground. And I'll move, I'm running. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll go ahead and roll initiative. Okay. I don't want to kill him. Yeah, I'll just do this in internal order, though. Did we get a long rest then? Like, after... Not since the... The... Not since the, the beast. Okay. We so did we get a short like rest. a short rest? Okay. Yeah. So then I'll An use... overnight short rest, so you can use max hit die, right? Right. Max? Okay. Yep. Let me do Ooh, that. See, this one is this... a... Hang on. <laughs> This one is a. This one has got too much stuff. It's so choppy. Okay, let me pull you guys in here. Put you over here. Arrow, you're a little bit. Oh, well. I'm what? Oh, I'm talking to myself. Uh, you are right. here. Whoops, I put you in a tree. I think. No, no, you're there. Okay. Uh, so all the um, the ruckus. You guys see this? Do you guys get? You got pushed over here, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you find. There you go. Perfect. We have some guys in here. Where are we at? There they are. So he's alright. Ignore that camp over there. <laughs> I just grabbed a map real quick. <laughs> I didn't change that. No, uh, that was my hit die. For the long rest? For the short rest. Short rest, you don't need hit die. You got eight you got eight hours. So you get your full hit. Oh. Yeah, so, full rest. 10 per, per hit die you want for you. Okay, so you Is rush over there. Um, we got a long rest. No, oh, go ahead. Short rest. Yeah, it's long turn order now, right? Yeah, everyone. Short well. rest, but it's okay. our. Everyone can go before me. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled I one. Are we going back to. Are we doing the no, turn but this, order? Or we... For now, we'll do the. the. Everyone just goes within me. Yeah, okay. because this may not necessarily be a combat. 
I'm going to use my bonus action to aim that wind to where I heard the noise, and then I'm going to jump into it and fail the save willfully and then throw myself forward 15 feet and then run for him. Okay. So you gotta, you're, it knocks you prone, doesn't it? No, huh? I don't think so. Let me see. I thought you failed the save. No, it just pushes you 15 feet away. It doesn't say anything about okay. putting people prone. Okay. So you see, uh, you see, and he's kind of tumbling around on the ground. He, he pushed out of the tree. He probably gets pushed away a little bit. <laughs> and yeah, and he's laying on the ground. And you, can, it's it's a it's a Maru. Um, everyone else can do what you want to do. Uh, Eru, you look up, and uh, the monkey is not smiling anymore. He's he kind of has the uh, has it. Uh, he's in shock. Surprise monkey face. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, monkey. Surprise monkey face. Oh. Do you get you get all the way up on him? In that yeah, one I round? got all the way up on him. Wow. Yep. Okay, so feet of free movement plus um, my movement. It's it's definitely a Maru. He's made of he's completely steel. Um, he has on his hand is like a, a large cylinder built into his one of his hands, and there's still a little bit uh -huh. of red glow in there, and you can see that's spinning still. Um, he's very dirty. He's just like. It's almost like you can see some of the steel, but there's mud sort of caked all over him. Um, and he... Where is he? Uh, I lost him. There he is. Uh, he The only thing really, he's basically, he's naked, Maru. Yeah. Mud yeah. covered, but he's got some boots on. And he's laying on the ground. He's like, ow! What'd you do that for? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get Next. up real close to him, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll be like, "We don't, we don't need to fight." And I'll, but I'll prepare a shocking grasp for if he tries to move on me. Okay. Mm. Like a little crackle of lightning. Is that a bonus action? No, it's an action to okay. cast that. But your action was the thing. Okay. Next. My bonus action was to move the gust of wind. Oh, the gust wind's on the ground now. You, you yeah, it's it down. like it came down. It's like it's like slightly up, so that I kind of got like a boost from it. Okay. They could do the same thing if they wanted, but I'm the crazy one, I guess. Next. Uh, I will move up. So the monkeys. There's three trees here. Monkey, bird, squirrel. Monkey, bird, squirrel. So I'm just moving half speed to remain stealthy. Okay. There's a bonus action dash and run, and then I will use my action to... No, I'm just going to hold my action right there, I think. So I'll hold a crossbow bolt for if this goes south. Okay. Come here, Jack. Zarek? Saren? Can't push the door open anymore, old man. I will whip out my sword and shield. Uh, there he is. And... I assume you already had that out whenever the speaking and the tree shaking uh, began. Yeah. Uh, where did... Sony Cheeks run off to? Um... It's hard to see him. He's deep in the woods. And your perception is not good enough Come to here, really Jack. make it. You can tell he's up ahead of you. You know he's up. There up. You he's go. up here. Ah, but okay, I see him. this is thick with bushes. Okay. So some, I would have seen him enough that way, though, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. I'll squeeze. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Oh, is this difficult terrain? Um, It's fine. Normally it is, but since we did it, it's fine. Okay. That's 30 feet right there. Now, uh, I just watched him. That was 30 feet? Yeah. It wasn't. 30 feet get you there. Well, it is with that. There you go. <laughs> he has to count squares because he can't track. <laughs> well, you know di <laughs> diagonals. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, Krog and Saren. I move I up know. with Sarik. Okay. Um. Uh, 
right where we heard everything, I'm going to cast Daylight. Everything seemed to... We, did, we weren't able to pinpoint where the voice was coming from. It was just sort of Thank echoing you. all around you. Right above Zarek, 30 feet, I'll cast Daylight. Okay. And then Ooh, I'll... Sorry, Jack. 30 feet. There you go. 30 feet above Zarek. It's bright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, as you blast that, you can, you can clearly see the uh, the Maru laying on the ground. Um, I'll wait for my turn and tell you what else happens. You don't see, Nothing else stands out to you immediately other than that. Okay. I'm just going to be eyes peel. Okay. Uh, Krog, anything? You're just moving up with him? Yeah, just moving up. Okay, so the uh, the Maru um, looks at Saren, or sorry, uh, um, Sunny Cheeks, who's laying there, and he's he just sort of stares at you, and he, he's like, shakes his head a little bit. It's like, what'd you do that for? But you did just try to blow us up. And you hear, and we're trying to force us to take, and you were trying to take gold from us. A booming voice comes overhead and it says, Please, you may pass. Just no gold required. <laughs> wow. The monkey. Wow, you guys give up easy. The monkey puts his hand over his eyes. And the squirrel takes off and the bird flies away. Wow. Um, you guys see some, you see some movement. Let me see if I can see movement. You see some movement in this big tree over here. Someone yeah. starts climbing down the tree. They go down the other side, but you can see someone. You can hear someone climbing down a tree. Um, and you hear on the left side of you also. You hear some footprints over here, trying to scoot away. Um, and you get a good glimpse of them. It looks like there's a human over there, running this way. And you can see him still in the, in the mm. trees. And you hear a shout from that person. Says, Boots, you're on your own. It is your turn. Uh, seems like your friends all left. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, you know what? I think my friends have something to tell you about. <laughs> have you heard the good news? <laughs> <laughs> you can just lay here until they get here. That would be good. Okay, just, um, you, you can pass. He sits up. He raises his hands up. He says, just, just fool it around. Uh, uh, I think you were fooling around and trying to kill us and take our money. So, uh, it's a little more than fooling well, around. You know, we gotta, I'm not going to hold it against you. We got to make a living. Uh, I understand. Uh, I see uh, Sarah next to me, and I whisper to him, should, should we tell him about the city? Uh, maybe... Maybe not, please. Let's... No, we should. We should tell him. We set you down, Jack. Him, I don't like you jumping from that He's far just, anymore. It sure is windy in here. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'll turn, off the, I'll, I'll turn off the wind. <laughs> I'll drop the wind. This one you've seen you've seen this model of uh Maru before. You had one way back in the ride that the guy that had a big gun on his arm. Um Sprocket? I think it was Sprocket. That had a big gun on his arm. Did I see the other two folks moving around? Um you did you heard the one on the, yeah, you heard you heard both of them. You saw the one. You heard the one on the to your right. Saw the one on the left. Okay, looking over on the right, or whichever ones I can see, either one of them look Maru, or just I don't want to leave. this one here. Come here. Uh, you don't get a good look on the right one. The one on the left does not look Maru. Okay. Human humanoid. Um, and you heard him call out. Had a little bit of an Amir twang to his voice. Okay. Uh, well, they have him like pretty well done. I'm gonna sprint over to my right. Okay. And then and then hide again, but I want to see if I can find this other guy and see if I can get a look at him. Yeah, when you sprint over there and you get behind the other side of that tree, you can see there is a um, uh, there is another human. He's got a bow strapped around his around his back, and he's 
Just and finishing getting down the tree. And he's taken off? He hasn't taken off yet. He's working on his way down the tree. Okay. He's at the base of the tree now. That was his round to climb down. Oh, okay. Uh, then I will just tie it over there and... Do you run over there or do you stealth over there? Well, how close is the tree? If I could stealth over there, I would stealth Yeah, you can, you can stealth there and reach it. Okay. Okay, then I will do that. And he's climbing just down the keep tree. keep an eye on this guy. Okay. Um, anybody else want to do anything? Okay, I walk up. Five, ten. There we go. Okay. So, uh, I'll reach out my arm and I'll say, if you don't run off, I, got, I can tell you something. Reach out your arm? Are we are we out of uh, initiative order? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'm gonna turn off daylight. <laughs> okay. My pupils just got used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to see for a week. <laughs> just kidding, I can see whenever. <laughs> I reach out my arm, like, to help him up. Okay. Um... He looks at you and says, uh, I, I, I got it. And he, he stands up. And he looks down at you and he kind of looks around. You can tell he's looking around for his friends. Um, the, the one climbing on the human climbing on the tree gets down the tree and starts to scoot off and goes and hides in a bush, but just is watching. It's keeping an eye on, on the, the situation. Um, the human that was on the other side has taken off. And, um, taken off, but poorly taken off. Uh, you can see him, he starts to make his way around back where you guys kind of came in. Like He's trying to be stealthy, but he's not being a very good job at all being stealthy. Trying to make his way around. <laughs> um, and Eru, you hear that monkey gives a little hoo hoo and then swings from some trees and jumps down and, and heads towards a bush and jumps into a bush. Not too far from you. The Maru says, yeah. um, you, you got a lot of, that's a lot of nice, nice stuff you're wearing. <laughs> um, I took that cloak off. I, yeah, I know. I don't want to, okay. I was going to say, I don't want to be wearing that right now. Um, what, what brings you here? He's, he's still <laughs> like, know. his eyes are darting around. He's... <laughs> This is not his his forte. <laughs> you knew in town. <laughs> How's the weather been? How often does this work? Well, you mean like the booming voice? Yeah, yeah. and the uh, oh, blowing like... people up and everything. Oh, did you did you see the trees shake? Yeah, that was pretty good. You know, usually works, but who was that? You? Oh no, no. No, that's that's Claus. Claus is Claus is the boss. And you hear, "Shut up, boots!" And you hear, is that the guy that's right next to me? No, the guy behind you, that was sneaking around poorly, shouts out to shut up. Oh, uh, th <laughs> there's Claus now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, from, hey, Claus! From the bushes steps out a human, pretty pretty uh, buff human. He has it's he's holding it in his hand. Uh, a kopesh, it was like those, those Egyptian swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And he steps out. Um, he has on, like, it's very crudely drawn, basically on his tabard. That he's kind of, it's a kind of rough tabard that he's got on him. Uh, three like claw marks. Which, uh, who's trained in religion? Saren, are you? Uh, could be. Yeah, I am. Okay, you recognize that as the sign for. Uh, I wrote it down. I don't know where I put it, though. V uh, Venora, the the um, the god of stealth. I mean, I mean look, hang on. I forgot the, <laughs> forget the name of him. <laughs> what? Don't say it like that, Francisco. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've got this all figured out. Uh, okay. That's the spirit. <laughs> So you're thinking about it. Well, what's this guy's name? His name is uh, Vaamron, Va is his name. Mm -hmm. Recognize him as God of the Cat. Stealthy. God of the Cat? Yeah. Chaotic God fellow. Of the cat. 
man, Jack was just in here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he steps forward and he's like, well, we're, um, we're sorry to uh, cause any trouble. You, you can be on your way. We, we um, say, how, how did you do that? And he points at the sky where you put that light out. A little bit if you of don't magic. mind me asking. Just a little bit of magic. Yeah. They kick you out too? Are you out hunting something? Kicked out. We're not, well, we didn't uh, necessarily get kicked out. Well, you know, uh, you, you do these uh, these magic tricks and, and they, they don't, they aren't too kind of that. You mean the people in the city? Yeah. Oh, well. Well, were you doing magic tricks like this where you were trying to rob people? Well, we're, you know, you're, um... That might just, be your issue. You're so, uh... You gotta make a living out here, you know? And what does this guy say? A group, a group like, like you, yeah, uh, surely you can spare ten, uh, eight, eight gold. Uh, actually, I think we're pretty broke. Or at least I am. <laughs> <laughs> or at least I am. <laughs> I don't know about these guys if they're holding out on me. We could use Here. like a um, oh a bite to eat now and then. Here, take this and think about what you're doing. I mean, if you got gifts like this, use them for something better than this. Come on, be Wait. better. And I go go to the church, Mithra. I'll take care of you. You'll see. I'm standing behind Saren, going Mithra. <laughs> <laughs> he looks around. He says, what have they done for anyone? It's just, everything's broken. Exactly. Oh, you saw that, this is way better. Uh, that light I turned on. That's what she did for me. She did that? She did that. Wow. <clears throat> Wait, Matt, okay. Never she, mind. Uh, <laughs> she's the one who gave me these powers. You sure about that? I think so. Oh, wow. At least that's the way it feels. Well, v who made this name up? <laughs> v A apostrophe A. I can't remember. Any of it. V A apostrophe A. V Amron <laughs> teaches us that all this power comes from us. We do this. That booming voice—that was me. V Amron didn't have anything to do with it. I mean, V Amron's great, and. And that you know they, um, it's, they're important and they're important in my lives, but that power came from me. Yeah. I honestly side to with him on this rain, one. My know. powers come from me. To each their own. I'm just saying, there's good people there. Oh, I take you in if you do good. But here, take this, and maybe, maybe just turn a little bit of a new leaf. I'll give him ten gold. Ten, okay. He looks at you. Hey. Okay. Ooh, uh, you may be on your way. I'm trying to sound important to his <laughs> cohorts. You heard him, yeah. fellas. Let's go. Well, wait, hang on. I want to tell the Mars. Wait. Oh, yeah. Wait. Uh. Oh, never mind. I don't really care. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about the city? I've never even been to this city. This is you guys' thing. I'm talking to you. From the bushes where Eru is standing, stands up a very large furbolg. Is dressed in in um, like hides and and there's a monkey around her shoulder. And she stands up. She doesn't see you. She starts walking towards the group. And she says, "Uh, well, why don't we uh, why don't we feed him? We got that big hole in." And claws looks at you and says, well, uh, um, he's still looking at the gold in his hand. Well, all right, we got a little bit. We can feed you if you, if you need some food. What do Fantastic. You guys the best food is free food. Especially when you don't have to make it. That's even better. <laughs> That's one step above free food. Free food that they make. It's not an extravagant life, but it's it's a free life. I can respect that. Oh, all right, come on over here, Muddy Puddle. Get out of there. 
So, out steps a half orc from one of the bushes. <laughs> and he's got he's Mighty got puddle. he's got a staff and <laughs> he steps forward. Yeah. And he says, Alright, boss. And from you 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 see claws there, you've got the furbolg, you've got um, the Maru, out comes the half orc. There's another the human that hid, but who's starting to come out. And they they lead you about 20 minutes away off to, this, to the side to a small little grove encampment that they've got set up. Just a bunch of tents, just like tarp, not tarps, but um, furs and things kind of laying over. Um, a lot of thatch and things also set in the tents. Um, as you walk into this little camp, which is pressed through some some bushes, so it's hard to see. Um, you can see they've, they've recently gotten a, a new hall. There's, there's a, a cart, like a wheel cart with apples uh -huh. And some corn and some other veggies all piled up on this thing. And standing around the campfire is a little closet who is cooking up, roasting up some some potatoes. Ooh. How far away is this from where we were? About 15 minutes. Okay, as they, as they start walking that way, I want to stay hidden. But every, every few seconds, I want to cast message to Boots. Okay. And I want to say, I want to tell him, if you are, if you want to know the history of your people, there is a town of Maru. He doesn't say anything. Does it see? Does it? Did it seem like he heard heard me? Um. Yeah. If you're watching him, he like the first time you do it, he stops. Looks around. Okay. Kind of, he so looks. He looks at claws, and then stops and keeps going. Say so. A few seconds go by, and I will. I'll do it again, and I'll say. They don't take kindly to non Maru, so he be stop. careful who you tell. He stops. He looks at claws. He hits him. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps walking. Claws looks. Just looks at him. I'll, I'll say it again. <laughs> Claus is not doing this. I just wanted you to know. He stops again. He looks around. He looks at Saren. Looks at Krog. He looks at each of you. Trying to, he kind of like makes makes robot eye contact with each of you. <laughs> robot eye contact. <laughs> not like paying attention at all. He's trying ahead. to discern if it's you talking to him or what's going on. He shrugs. He keeps walking. I'll send him another message. Said he was told to tell any mom. All right. He looks around. His head spins around. <laughs> Who's doing that, <laughs> boss? I think I'm going crazy. <laughs> Claus says, "Shut up, boots." <laughs> boots stops. Stops for a second, looking around. The rest of the people start walking. He stops for a long time. Send him another message. <laughs> oh my! You're not going crazy. I just want you to know. You told them that we would tell an Imaru that we came across. <coughs> this way, I can tell you and not the rest of your party. Uh, do uh, uh, do. I need to talk back. I'll send them again. If you have questions, you can respond to these messages, yes. <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> Boots, shut up! <laughs> um, who's talking to me? His head spins around. How, I've... Has he got some distance between? Yeah, he's got about else? fifteen feet gap now. I will. <clears throat> and I'll gets... step out. About ten feet away from him is when I want to appear. Do you want to surprise him, or? I don't. I want. To, I mean, I don't want to be seen until I'm about ten feet. I don't want to like startle him. Okay. But I want him to. He's on edge at the moment. That close, and I he's didn't know. <laughs> we we'll like. I'll. I'll send him one more message before I come out. Say I'm okay. going to come out. Don't be startled. And I'll step out. 
He raises his, his gun hand, but he doesn't turn it up. He looks around and his head spins around as... I'll come out like this, hands up. ...up here. And then he turns his body around and looks at you. Uh, 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 hello. Um, hello, Boots. My name is Arrow. How do you know my name? I've been here the whole time. I heard them calling you Boots. Um, I need. I should talk to Claus. Um, I don't do this. Um, <laughs> don't do what? I don't talk a lot to people. Um, that's fine. I don't. There's no need to worry. I just wanted to tell you some things that uh, they Maru did not want us to tell other humanoids, just other Maru. But now you know. So about like a town. Yes, they, uh, we had a friend who was Maru. I can't We learned a bit about his ancestry there, but they I told us to tell you any other Maru. I have to leave my, my friends? Uh, we went with our friend, but uh, it took them a while to warm up to us, other than our friend. So you could go there with your friends, but they, it would be dangerous for them, at least at first. Okay, where... It's a long way. Uh, <clears throat> I will do my best to describe how to get there. Like okay. south, you know, steam cliffs south of there. It's called uh, That That's a long way. It's not for everyone. I had to go there alone. I don't I do a lot of things alone. Friends, but... Okay. Well, I trust them. They won't. At least not at first. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell them you're here now. Sure. Boss! I'll just wave at him. <laughs> There's another one! <laughs> Claus looks over at you and says, How many of you are there? I'm the last one. Last one, don't worry. All right. Come on in. So they've got this little camp set up, and you figure, you know, there's no more than a dozen of them all together. And they sit around, yeah. and they have clearly just gotten a fresh haul with that wagon and the fruit and the veggies mm. piled up there. Uh, other than that, it's pretty, sh pretty, sh pretty shambly situation. They've got nothing fancy here. They're kind of just living in the woods. And they sit down, and they begin, like, cooking up veggies and fruits. And you notice there is no meat in sight. The, um, the furbo goes and sits down, and there are couple animals, there's the monkey, there's a squirrel, and you see that same bird come flying in. Um, there's also a couple other, uh, there's a porcupine that comes waddling in. She seems to have friends of the forest. Um, but they, they, uh, they begin just cooking up some dinner, and claws, um, which you notice as you get close to this guy that he's, he's human, um, but there's something a little bit, like, off about his skin. Like, like it's, it's almost like it's really, really dry. Like almost, almost, um, reptilian. Uh, not reptilian, but. Uh, give me a perception check if you, if you're curious. But there's something a little bit off about his, about his skin. In one of his eyes. 24. 14. 19. One of his eyes, like his left eye, has a little bit of a cat's eye shape to it. And the left side of his skin, which his hair is kind of covering a bit, you can see almost like it has a um, a reddish tint to it. Like maybe there's a little bit of demon folk in his bloodline. But he's mostly human. Alright, I'll ask. So where are you guys from? Are you all from... Uh, Ahoy there, man. Here. Thanks, big dog. Uh, Claus looks at you and he says, uh, yeah, this, this is our home now. The forest outside the city? Yep. Were you all huh? born in Amir? Well, I'm from Amir. Um, Whisker over there, and he points at the furball. Oh, I don't know where she's from. Whisker, where are you from? I'm from everywhere. Uh, we got, uh, furball here. He was, um living on the streets of Amir and uh, we took him in one time when we were making a 
making a little bit of a raid. Uh, raid's a kind of a funny word. Like, you know, the occasional wagon comes by and, and these folks are moving in and, you know, they don't need all the stuff that they have. And so we... we, we uh, I think the first word you used was a, was an accurate description. Uh, no, no. <laughs> um, like, you know, they, they come in and it, the pickings have been real good lately. If, if like, um, say a farmer's coming to town. You know, yeah. he's bringing in some apples. Uh -huh. He's got like 2,000 apples in that wagon. <laughs> he's not going to miss 20. Fair enough. And, and we, we don't eat meat. At least some of us don't. And he, he glares at the closet. <laughs> <laughs> this is, Whisker doesn't like it. And um, Muddy Puddle there, he's from way out east. Um, he's the half orc. Yeah, and he has—he's a staff. He looks like he probably a, probably a caster of some kind. Um, and, he, and and me me and awful here we we um, we hung out as kids. And um, well, there's there's well, that's it. Those your trail markers we came across? Maybe. No, no, wait, wait. No, whenever you leave here, you're not gonna go tell anyone about this place. Probably should have no. squared that up before we uh, you got here. Eh, no. I hadn't planned on it. We probably won't be coming back to the city for um. Ever. <laughs> oh yeah, what what they do to you? I think we asked too many questions. Did you did you show them that big ball of light you put in the sky? Uh. No, we don't just willy-nilly throwing spells out. I did something a little different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, they tried to ship me off to some some academy, but I wasn't having it. You know, I just... Um, oh, the Magical Academy? That's what they say it is, but that's not what it is. It's a prison. What? Really? Yeah. As soon as they find out you got some sort of magic ability, they pack you up and they ship you off. And I looked at everyone else and I go, that's why they don't like the cape. What cape? <laughs> don't worry about my cape. <laughs> I've sealed the cape away in a special hiding place. Uh, are there any gnomes here backpack. among this uh, group? Are you asking or saying or looking? I'm looking. Nope. And I'll, I'll speak up and just say, any of you able to speak ancient gnomish? Read it. Or just regular gnomish. Uh, well, we, um, we have a fella who probably can, probably knows a thing or two. <laughs> Name's Toys. He's out scouting right now. Toys? Mm-hmm. <laughs> His name is Toys? Mm-hmm. Interesting mm -hmm. name. What's your name? I'm Eru. Interesting name. I think it wasn't mine. It was given to me. Hmm? That's how Toys got his name. That's how we all got our name. <laughs> this guy talks a lot Why of sense. Why is his name Toys? He, uh, he... In his past life or something, he used to work for this fellow that made toys, and he carries these toys around with him everywhere he goes. Oh, God. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> was his name Vani, the guy he worked for? I don't know. Oh, Okay. He used to go around and sell selling these things, and well, I think he probably stole a couple of them. I don't know what happened to him, but he ended up out here. Hmm. Pull out the little mechanical mouse. They look like this. Hey, did you take that from toy from uh, toys? Nope, I took it from Vani, actually. Oh, all right, you, you, yeah. He's got something like that. So, uh, what you fellas off to do, and what's next? Uh, we are headed towards the fire caves, but uh, it's going to be quite a journey. Yeah, fire caves. What you going there for? Uh, we uh, want to see some fires that are in caves, <laughs> naturally. You know, there's. I don't know if you're dumb or if you just haven't been here, but there's a lot of lizards around here. Lizard folk. We're not worried about the lizards. Why? I mean, they're... They don't like... I'm not sure what a light's going to do to them. Or a gust of wind. 
How about this? I'm gonna cast Moonbeam on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call lightning on his position. Oh, the um, other better, more, more, more better spells for hitting people. We just did the wind and the and the other thing because it doesn't kill you. Oh yeah. Hmm. Um, Krog, as you're sitting there, you notice that the the <clears throat> druid has has been eyeballing you. Um, she's very interested oh, okay. in you. She um. Big fur bold. She's about the same size as you. But, um, she doesn't say anything, but she just seems to be inter very interested in you. Okay. Hot. <laughs> oh, I'll, uh, keep that in mind, but I won't react to it. Okay. I'll head up over to the, uh, the half work. Okay. And I'll ask him. What? So exactly, I'll ask, how far exactly east are you? Are you from? Um, I'm from east of here. <laughs> that's just, at least that's what Claus says. I guess I have people there. I don't know, I was abandoned. Have you ever heard of the Empire? You're in the dang Empire, what are you talking about? Look around. This is a barbaric city. These are barbaric empire. City he looks around. These are trees. <laughs> <laughs> it's a truly barbaric city. <laughs> it's a barbaric empire. I come from a true empire. I just look over at the rest of our party. I give them the, the eye roll. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have her? My mouth's like open wide like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down at you. All right. What do you mean? I'll bite. Have you heard of the Krakatish Empire? Crack a what? <laughs> Krakatish. Crack. Um. Maybe like a like a party or something. Like right. like this is a bunch of people. Zer gets a little angry. It's an official empire. Official. It's official. <laughs> There's books and everything. I haven't heard that one yet. <laughs> they got stone walls. All right. Natural play. <laughs> you, um, he gets a little closer and he says, this is like, this is all in your head. You, you hear things, you see things. <laughs> <laughs> if you go out far, if you go east enough, you'll hit islands. And that is where I am from. Okay. Those islands have an empire. They're filled with an empire of people just who just look just like me, and they call themselves the Krakatish Empire. Looks, looks down like they're all tiny. Like, Most of us. What happens if you like if that empire comes into some giants? Are they just gonna like step on you? Uh, the giant will uh, get stabbed like thirty times. Thirty times isn't, in the ankle. isn't enough to kill a giant. <laughs> you, you hear that? Uh, a clause? He says thirty times to kill a giant. <laughs> well, you. I could stab you, I could stab you once, and you're you got to get him more than thirty times to get a giant. The furball kind of chuckles, but never leaves his eye contact with with Krog. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Claus says, uh, little one over there, um, uh, um, what's your name, Cobalt? Zarek. Yeah, you be, you be careful talking, talking to, to Muddy Puddle. He, he, um, he hears things. So you might want to be careful with him. Zarek starts laughing. He looks at you and he says, they're real. He looks like this, this, this most serious face. He looks at you and says, they're real, and they could crush your empire. You really think that? Mm hmm A moment later, in from the, uh, the bushes uh, parts, and a little gnome steps through. This little gnome is like, like just like everyone else, just in... Covered in in uh, in grasses and and leathers and very roguish, um, he's got a bow bow on his back, and he steps in and stops for a second. 
And he starts to close them again. As, as soon as he stops and starts to close them, say, you must be toys. <laughs> who? Moss, who is that? That's <laughs> uh, okay. Come on in. And he slowly steps in. Uh, we gotta, uh, we're gonna feed all of them. He, he like grabs a bag and tosses it down. It's got some mushrooms in it. Um, boss, can we talk? Yeah, they, they go out and they go, they can't get far away, but they get just to the edge and they're having a little chat. Um, if you want, you can try to listen in probably pretty easily. All right. I'll definitely try to listen in. <laughs> I'm going to start passing out rations to our group. This doesn't seem like I'm going to be getting a whole lot of food. Where's not paying attention. He's going to argue over how his umpire is amazing. <laughs> I'm having trouble over hearing over uh this is a reek. <laughs> yeah, Zarek and, and, and uh, I'm trying uh, to listen to this other conversation. Like Puddle going at it. <laughs> um Yeah, your twenty one is able to pick it up. Um Sunny Cheeks. Okay. Um so uh Toys is is telling him first off he's like, Who are these people? What are they doing here? Why would you bring him in? What is wrong with you? And he's in the closet, like, just calm down, they're gonna be alright. They gave us money. They're not out to get us. Um and he says, we can't go past, like, the eastern road's been blocked off. Um, we got a wanted sign in, uh, in, um, in Ephora. They're looking for us. They're sending bandits out next time. Not bandits, they're sending, they're sending mercenaries out. How do you know these guys aren't out to get us? And so Claus stops for a second. He says, ah, I don't, I don't think so. He says, hey, um... What y'all doing here in Amir? Uh, we were going to get information, and then that didn't work out so well, so now we're leaving. What kind of information? The informative kind. The kind that suits our needs, I suppose. Uh, do you need to know? Well, figuring we're going to be feeding you dinner and, and bringing you into our home. Might be nice to know exactly what's uh, what you're doing out here. We were looking. I'll tell him. I'll tell him about the uh, the stolen gem. So we were looking to find out what the the gem was. This that they put in the different cities around here. One was stolen by the, uh, the lizard folk. We were looking to find out why, but they wouldn't even let us tell them about it. The gnome speaks out. Says they they stole part of the crown. Yeah. Does that mean anything to you? Well, the crown, uh, yeah, that's that's the crown that that um, Amir wore, the first, the first one, the first king. Yeah. Did you know the one, the king that there's now, isn't even related to the other kings? They lost the line a long time ago, and he's just a nobody now. Well, anyway, the <laughs> the crown is is what I don't know. The gods gave um, the first king this crown to build the empire. That's a story. It's not true, but it's a story. So but, what's what well, the purpose of these gems? Well, after the... after the, well, No one knows what they do. Or if they even do anything. But uh, the second king... The first one died, and the second one came along, and he didn't think it was a good idea to have them all, like, packed into one spot. And so he... You know, it was like a... The Empire is so great, they put these gems all around the Empire. And so he scattered them around. He took the gems off the crown and scattered them around. It's all into the empire. And then the the rumor goes um, that someone else came along. Oh, the, the stories are different, uh, and then spread them even further out. And then the ones like you can go in, um, you can go into the city and you can see the crown. Like the one that puts on his head and they, they put it in the palace. You can go look at it. But they're all fake. Those are fake gems. <laughs> the real ones are all spread out somewhere. Be a lot of money if you got one of those. What do you think the lizards want with money? I don't know. It's what we were trying to find out. Hmm. Maybe, maybe something other than money, but we don't know what. And they wouldn't even hear our story, so... We left. Hmm. Good night. Good 
I hear you uh, stole some toys. Did you used to work for Varney? Who told you I stole toys? Well, we've, we asked how you got your name. Well, yeah, I worked for him. Uh, yeah, yeah, I may have taken a couple of them, but, it, you know... Um, I'll just hold not... up the mouse. It's okay. <laughs> and that's, he's under his breath. He kind of continuing his sentence. That's not no reason to fire someone. <laughs> Don't worry. We took this from him, and uh, he doesn't even know. So he tried to hire us again. Varney? If it makes you feel any better, yes. He took it from Varney? Where is he at? He disappeared. He's down in Steamcliff. He's trying to uh, Steam start Cliff. a minor war with uh, some people down there or something. He found Steamcliff? Yeah. We helped him find it. It was a bit of a disaster, but he found it. That's a surprise. Yes, it's likely part of the reason why the sky is like this, too, so know that. You think Varney did that? Well, it's all butterfly Bart effect, you know. What do butterflies have to do anything? Bar Varney makes toys. Ah, yes. He doesn't okay. change skies. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying it's all, it's a ripple effect. Is that better? You know what ripple effect? I understand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like a chain in each link of the chain. <laughs> <laughs> a chains, I understand. Anyway, we heard that you might be able to read some ancient gnomish. Oh, maybe. I might know a little bit. All, What's it uh, worth to you? It might be worth it to you, actually. What do you know about Xerophil? And I want to read his reaction when I say that word. Hey, I'll be zoned in on that, too. Well, um... You see, I can't just give out information. You read his reaction. He knows something. One six. I can't just go giving <laughs> out information without some sort of payment. I ain't living for free. Oh, I ain't living for free, but I ain't living for free. I think it just gave him ten gold. You get to chuckle from Muddy Puddle. Well, that's ten gold was just to let you through, right? Oh, well, no. We could have gone through for free. Well, sounds to me you want information, and uh, uh, sounds to me I have it. And the way you... Here's a gold piece. A gold? I've heard of Xerophil. Pretty big deal, you? gnomes. I don't yeah. know why anyone have else would... There? Because we have. I mean, you have not. No one knows where I'll it is. Up, I'll hold up the book, The History of Xerophil. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at that. No. Nah. <laughs> Let's talk. Talking? Tell me about Xerophil. Well, um... There were, like... A long, long time ago, there was this sort of, um... Repository? Things were, things were bad. Things were real bad. And... Some folks gathered together and, and created some... Um... Um safety zones, basically. You know, the world was terrible, and, and there was... I don't know. I guess the world was bad. And so they made these special places. Some people, that's like a sacred place. And... Not everyone thinks it was real, but most of that knowledge is gone. I know it because... Well, your friend Varney. Hmm. Not, not my friend. <laughs> but he was. Yeah, we think that uh, we actually found the tomb of some uh, octopus or kraken or something down there. Ring a bell? No. Adrum. I don't know. We did see that name, right? I didn't. Yeah. I don't know any uh, anything about that. Did you seem, did you seem honest about that? Yeah. Also... Okay. Xerophil, where that was located and where the Kraken was located, was not the same place. Remember, Xerophil was was north of it. Kraken was below the lake. Yeah. Xerophil oh, okay. was, was... was in sort of the deserty deadlands there 
west of. Oh, that's where we found the topside Terry book. Yeah. Okay. So the but the history of Xerophil um, came out of that place with with Adro. Yeah, it did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was there a, what? Do we know what that place was called? Mm -mm. Okay. I will show. I will let him hold the 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 topside Terry book. Okay. Let's see, we found this one in Xerophil. Look through it. He's thumbing through it. He's going pretty quick through it, just kind of skimming. Um, he says, this is pretty neat, but it's just a bunch of fake, just stories. Fairy tales. Sure. What, what are the, what are the stories? I don't know, some, some fella. Um, looks like he's a gnome. Just doing little stories, little short stories about, I don't know, he seems to put himself in all these stories. It's not possible, though. What makes what you think that? Well, he skips to the rest of the back of the book, and he's like, here, he's talking about he celebrated his 500th birthday. Go find me someone that's 500 years old, and I'll, then I'll, I'll change my mind. Harry. <laughs> um, uh, uh -oh. What's that look for? <laughs> Hope. Oh, okay. That's we what know, I was thinking. We, too, we know right? somebody that's really yeah, old. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if I was thinking the same thing you were thinking <laughs> or not. Uh, if you uh, want to have it sit down here, we can try to look through this history of Zero Fall with me. Okay. I'll, I'll sit next to him and see, ask him. I'm going like, to sit on the other side of him so he can translate like I'm here. So, motion this guy. Okay. Let, like... let, him, let him read us a story. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Xerophal. I'm going to leave out some of the na some of the bits that aren't really important, like names and things. But okay. the gist of it is... Um, the um, the ancients, that's what they're referred to in the book, were concerned with the way the world was, hap was, was going on in the world. And they needed to find some sanctuary sites, they call it in the book. That's the word it uses, sanctuary sites. And one of those sanctuary sites was Xerophal. And you gather that this one seemed to be run by gnomes. Um, and it was sort of like a they're trying to lock down their knowledge um, for the oncoming war. It was like all through this book is talking about that the war is coming. Um, the um, the gods are walking the earth. Uh, the demons are walking the earth. Um, and it refers to these different planes and the world is cracked. And um, all the attempts before failed. And so Xerophal's purpose... It kind of starts out at the beginning, what, where, how it was founded by this gnome, um, and they sort of built this thing as a as a vault to survive the war. And it goes through kind of like a genealogy, trying to keep track of all the gnomes through the ages. There's a big section on that, um, just trying to keep a history that will last through the through the war. Like they, they expect things are going to be real bad, and this is going to be kind of a... You get the idea this is just one volume. Um, but um, the gist of it is it's a, it's a save in knowledge for the bad times coming. Um, it does mention um, something to keep um, the... Um, uh, what a um, not they don't use the word Maru. What's the what's the word in D and D they use for automaton? Um, Warforged. Oh. Warforged. They use Warforged. The, the term Warforged. Um, it talks about a, um, a barrier that will keep the Warforged out. I'll ask him. What does Warforged mean? You got me. This is almost as much a fairy tale as the other one. If you weren't holding it, I wouldn't be believing it. 
I have some more. You want to see them? He says, has Varney seen this? No. We haven't seen him since we Ooh. found these. He would go nuts if he saw all this. That's all he ever oh, talked yeah. about was history of the gnomes. The gnomes have this great long history. I say I never believed him. But, well, maybe there is. You want to see the others? Yes. I'll pull out the, the history book, the one that's just ge apparently a generic history book. Okay. Um, this one is talking about... Um, this one takes... It's, it's only a small little timeline. It's about 20 years or so. And it's the founding of a crystal city. And how, um, again, the world is so kind of messed up, and they're trying to create a um, a safe place. These ancients, and um, there seems to be two forces in there. You got the good, the ancients that are trying to form this city, and they're trying to separate uh, several other folks, putting up barriers and. Um, trying to divide the land and how they went about doing that. Um, there's a small section in the very end that a word comes up um, that's talking about constructing the Kahar stones. What are the Kahar stones? He doesn't know. Um, Does it say any, are there any mentions of Aravalon or the spirit fairer in there or, or any of the other things that we've learned about um yeah you um it doesn't use their names but it has the symbols kind of pic mm -hmm. pictographic and yeah it does have the spirit fairers um spirit fairers not in this one um a ravelin is there and Toticus is there <laughs> Toticus is there <laughs> no dang <laughs> Toticus dude what does it say anything specific about a Ravelin that might give us a, a clue as to when we get to the fire caves, how to like find him or reach him or call him? Um, he, he's um, nothing like that. He's just sort of like one of the leaders that's taking these folks out to try to set up these barriers and protect this zone where this crystal city is being built. All right. Uh, I will show him the Other Realms book. Um, so he looks at this one, and he... And he, <laughs> um, he says, this doesn't make any sense. This is just stories. What do you want to hear this one for? You're like... I don't know what they say. I don't know that they're only stories. <laughs> this <laughs> this is like... There's, this is like different worlds. Like there's other worlds out there. Well, hang on. I, I'm kind of interested. I love stories. We got time. Yeah, what when Zurich hears Toticus, he'll stop arguing. And he'll come over. <laughs> <laughs> just, just give, give us like one or two of them. You don't have to read the whole thing. A no. metagame pigeon just landed on Zurich's Yeah. Shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying about. He says, "Well, I wasn't. Think I wasn't really here for story time. But all right." He flips through and like, well, let's pick one out. Um, look, it's, Did you see? ethereal plane is what this says. It says apparently you can go walking around without being seen. It's some sort of like, I don't know, ghostly thing. But we all know that's not true because we can see the ghost walking around. Um, you can like walk through walls. Um, he goes to, he thumbs through a couple pages. Here's one. Uh, Faye Wild. Um, oh, this is like, um, well, it was like happy animals. Oh, oh, uh, Whisker would love this one. There's animals around and there's lots of trees. It's just a, and, and as he reads this out to you, he reads it out just, just sort of like the D and D description of the Feywild is. It's a <laughs> realm of, <laughs> and, um, but, and then he goes, uh, you want me to keep going? We can get uh, something. Is there anything? On, uh, let's, uh, and I think I got this, Ag Agendor? 
Um, he flips through. Nope. No Agandor. Is that is that the what am I thinking well, the right thing though? Yeah. Um he's what well, well um wait, yeah, that's all that and he pulls back. Let me see the other one. And he get the, okay. the the history one where they're working on dividing the place up. He says, Yeah, yeah. there's Agandor. They were sending some things over there. Um I don't know how to do it, but they're they're they were uh, protect to protect they were putting things there. Hmm. Okay. Well, I have a couple more. Here's one. It looks, uh, and I'll hand him the, the Tinker's book. He says, now this is more like it. <laughs> looks through there, and it's just a, um, you can saw before with a bunch of diagrams and then a lot of words about the diagrams. And it's, um, and he's, he's, he gets a few pages in. He's like, you know, first of all, it starts off like making clocks and making that kind of stuff. And he tells, he tells you there's clocks and there's some wind up things. And he says, Varney would love this. And he stops at one page. It's like, oh, uh, and he looks at, um, he looks at boots and he looks at it He's and he's like, well, that's, looks kind of like, uh, boots hand there. And he flips another one and I was like, well, I don't think I've seen this before either. I've heard this, this kind of, it's a diagram of, he kind of leads it out. It's a gun as he's describing that and he passes through a few more pages and um, it gets more and more complicated as as he gets to the very end um, where he ends up with a the very last one is a sort of like this walking behemoth but it's all mechanical hmm. tank with legs tank with legs so you, did you design any of the toys, or did you just uh, build them? What was your... Uh, I, I sold them. Oh, okay. We we go from town to town selling them. We had but chops. you understood how all of them worked? You could repair them if need be? Mm-hmm. Yeah, things get damaged in the, well, on these roads. We gotta fix them up. I'm gonna have some questions for you later, but I do have one more if you wanted to see it, and I'll pull out the, the magic book. This one is... Um, so he pulls through there. Um, I don't, I don't really recognize this one. Um, I, I, I don't, this isn't in, there's a few ancient gnomish things in there, but I don't see anything else in here. It's arcane. Um, oh, okay. yeah, I don't know. Um, Muddy Puddle might be able to understand that one. Muddy. Sure. Yeah. He hands he hand it over to him, he looks at it. Mm. Looks like um you can make make spells and 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 I don't know, you put them in things. <coughs> put spells in things. Well, that sounds useful. Hmm. Can you do that? Alright. I don't know. Maybe. Never tried. Zerg comes over. He's interested. <laughs> he says, and he, he's kind of flipping through there, and he's like, whoa. Well, um, this one, you like, you put, this one, you put your, like, your whole essence into this, whatever you're putting it into. Why would anyone do that? I don't know. You'd be like, You'd be like nobody. You'd be like a like a. Well, you you'd be like uh, be like Furball. Points at the closet. <laughs> does he? Does the closet give him the stink eye? <laughs> yeah, kind of like he doesn't. He knows not to like snap at him, but he kind of gives him a look. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We just found those. Well, I take the. I'll take them back and put them away. Uh, toys. I've been mm -hmm. trying to come up with some sort of device that can hold two uh, ingredients for a poison in a sheath that I can quickly click and they will combine and coat my dagger. You think you help me draw up some designs for that? Uh, I can try, but I don't know if I have any... Uh, on, you want me to make it or I can just draw you some designs? Well, I don't think we're going to be staying here long enough to make one, but... Maybe you get to start on some designs. You need a lot of a lot of metal for that. 
Well, I can I can work something up. What's it gonna What you gonna pay for something like that? I don't know. I'm gonna maybe try to build it myself if I can. But if I no, I mean, what you gonna pay for me to draw up some blueprints? I thought this might be just some fun bonding time with you and me, Joyce, but... Bonding time uh, time is money. That's what uh, Varney used to always say. Do <laughs> you want to be like Varney? He had and some good ideas. <laughs> Every once in a while he had a good thought. <laughs> you can't live out here for free. Especially now. Well, there's a lot of, lot of good... A lot of good pickings going recently. That's all right, Toys. Enjoy your dinner. Okay. And they all have like a bowl of just like stew, meatless stew. Did, yeah. did Toys ever say Toticus's name out loud when he was reading the book? Yeah. Okay. Does Eric know how old Toticism is? That's the name Toticism. <laughs> yep. No, you just know <laughs> the, um, the frog people of the south worshipped some strange toad god. You heard the name. Never one god. Give me a religion check. That's what we got dice for. Uh, sure. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, plus one in that. Yeah, I got a one. <laughs> Look no. at that. Yeah. The um, the name barely rec barely rings a bell. Like, I think I've heard that name before, but I'm not sure. That's where. my religion. I should know that. <laughs> it's your religion? Yeah, it's all the, everyone in that area worships it. It's not just the frogs. Mm, I don't remember that. Okay. Then, yeah, you know who Donix is. <laughs> 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 that's natural one, you're like, did you say Photicus? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. Um, they say you're welcome to stay. Claus says you're welcome to stay as long as you want. Uh, we can talk about um, Viamron a little more if you like. We can talk about Mithra if you want. Um, um, we can talk about what you're going to do now. If you're, uh, now that you've been is had. The city, the city going to turn, come try to find you? Well, they've been trying to find us for a long time, for months. I don't know. They don't come out here. Plus, if they do, we know. Well, we know where they're at. That you know that little trick with the with the booming voice that works on everyone, except for you for some reason. Um, you said you follow Amaron. Mm-hmm. Um, have you uh maybe the past couple days you've been feeling their his her presence, his presence. Like he's kind of there. I mean, he he he's always he's always here, and you hear but do you feel muddy puddles like, "Oh bit. boy, here we go." <laughs> <laughs> do you feel it a little bit more? By chance, a little bit more than what? Well, I just I don't know. The past couple of days, it's like I can feel Mithras with me in a in a way that. Like she's at, like I can feel her eyes on me. No, can't say I felt that. Not in a creepy way, but like I don't know. Like it's hard to describe. Like just a really nice feeling. To what I'm describing. Nope. nope. I mean, uh, All right. Like, like. The Amron is is always here. You know, it's, he's what provides the the carts that go down the path, and so we can take from the the path. He provides the um um the, the more carts that go down the path. He provides the uh, the ability for me to shout real loud. But uh, I haven't found anything any different. Nope. Muddy Puddle speaks up. I know what you mean. You have dreams. That she just like shouting at you in your dreams. 
saying, get up, get out there and go slit that man's throat. You know, everyone kind of that one before. <laughs> that only happened one time. <laughs> this got dark quickly. <laughs> I'm I'm really happy. If it wasn't for that though, you wouldn't have got that cart and we got all those apples and all those remember those pumpkins we got off of that. Yeah, I know what you mean. Look at the time. <laughs> <laughs> As we're walking. This guy away, might be crazy. I, I did not feel that way, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now I'm looking at you. I'm like, is that what it was like? <laughs> like you wanted to slit our throats? <laughs> Not that I wanted to, but I knew I could. <laughs> <laughs> you could always do that. You don't need God's help with that. <laughs> do you want to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll look at Sunny Cheeks looking up and down. Eh. <laughs> 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 eh, well... <laughs> I'll keep my eyes on you. <laughs> okay, it's it's about noon right now. So if you want to start set off, you can do so. Um, I always think we're sitting by a campfire. We must be getting ready for sleep. But... Yeah, <laughs> it's a lunchtime campfire. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right well, well, good luck with all your things. Try not to get caught. Never. We got this, um, this, um, this thing down south a little ways. If anyone walks that way, they get fried by that fella. <laughs> it's a good time. We get all kinds of stuff uh, from there. Uh, I mean, you get anything. <laughs> Was it kind about a hey, big? <laughs> stare. He just stare, stares at you. What'd you do? Uh, we, well, we got the tax by it, you know. I feel it's only fair to warn you that uh, that defense is no longer operable. No, all right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I think you, uh, I think you folks have overstayed your welcome. I think it's about time for you to get out of here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it was a test and it failed. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well. Not either. Let's go! If it, if it wasn't us who killed it, it would have been someone else who meant you harm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you... Real quick. Um, if you're heading up to those fire caves, you probably should go a little bit either uh, a little bit west... Because the town of Ephora is just up that way. And, um, well, they're not real nice. They probably won't be too welcoming to outsiders. Probably best you stay away from there. Uh, insight check. Okay. Because <laughs> I, just, I just gave him some bad news. I don't want him to. <laughs> just screw us <it> up. <laughs> Seems like he's looking out for your well-being. What a nice guy. <laughs> and you, he, you hear a little snicker from, from the... No, no, you don't know. <clears throat> okay. Thanks for the uh, heads up. He nods to you. You guys leave the, leave the uh, little camp. And you head off north. Um, As we're walking away, I will tell the party. I did tell... Uh, I told Boots about Rided. I told him it was up to him who all he took with him, but they wouldn't necessarily trust him at first. Yeah, me and Aaron, or me and Zarek talked about it. It was a good call. Figure it's, uh, seemed to be that they wanted any, any Maru to be able to find their history. But it only fair, even, <clears throat> even ones that are currently with non Maru. Like Ulf. You, um, about towards the end of the day, you come across a, a pretty clear, pretty clear path cut through the forest. It's not, not a road or anything. It is a road, but it's not a, not a road road. Uh, you wouldn't fit any very big carts. Just a trail. Yeah. Um, you could fit some small carts through that down this, and it goes east and west. You guys are going north. 
So if you want to divert, let me know. I'm just telling you what you're seeing as you're walking through here. Mm. Might be best to stay off the trail. Probably. At least for a little while. What about that uh, town? Should we try to avoid that, or should we... Uh, I, don't, we might, I don't feel we like might. we should alter course. Hmm. Oh, well. But I don't know. We can, if you're okay, we can go there, it. but he did just say it was bad, so we could just... Yeah, it's, but he told us that right after we gave him some pretty bad news, so... He told us we wore out our welcome, and then told us to go somewhere different than where we were going. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but... Uh, well... It wouldn't hurt us just to heed the warning, right? Yeah, true. I don't know. Maybe it would. Depends on... why he decided to tell us that. <sighs> Either way, Either way. I think we can just go the same route we were going and be careful, be mindful. Give me a survival and a perception and whatever else you want to do. Check. Fourteen perception. Fifteen survival. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem like a very heavily traveled track, but you can cross over it with ease back into the woods again. Um, it's going to take you another couple of days, you figure, to get out of the woods and onto that north road. Um, Sarah, you know from the north, the north road is basically the edge of the forest. Once it goes back there, it goes pretty plains and you kind of lose knowledge of what's going on up there other than mountains. But you have two more days of, of, of bushwhacking it through the woods here and it starts to let up a little bit and you know the road is, is upon you. Right back. Um, you make it to that north road. Finally, you've been traveling here for I think 10 days to get to this point. Um, and you have a, a wide, not well traveled, not a heavily traveled, but a wide road, which you know as the, the North Amir Road. Um, and to your north, you can see the mountains. To the west, you can, it's just flat. And to the east, where well, you got more trees to the east because the road's kind of curvy. Do you want to. You want to go kind of go like over and then around? That's right. That's what you're looking to do. Yeah, we're gonna go like that. Okay, um, you begin walking north. You cross the road and you get into much flatter land. You don't just the occasional smaller tree. You're into more like uh, kind of more in that Kansas sort of flat lands. Occasional small tree, patches of little water spots. It re the forest really lets up here. Um, and as you are walking, you notice there is. Off in the distance, it's flat, except for you see a stone post or pedestal off to the northwest. Um, you guys are walking north, due north. And um, you begin to smell... Give me a perception check. You can, you're going to get a, s a smell on the wind. Mine was not I'll roll one. Do not, not place great. what that smell is, but you think you may have... <laughs> oh, there you go. Thank you. Let me roll, let me roll um, my... Zarek, perfect. You're the one who probably would most, most recognize this smell. Nope. Um, nope. This takes you back to your days in the army. Damn. When you traveled south same. to the lands of the demon folk. When you land on those lands, it just had a smell in the air, and you smell this sulfurous Sulfur. smell. <laughs> And, um, it smells like the 4th of July. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you're walking another... You're about 30 minutes north of the road. And you see that pedestal. Who's in front? Saren? Mm, uh, I'll be with Saren. You guys are watching Saren and Zarek walk. Zarek is sniffing the air. And yeah, as soon as I sniff boy? it, I'll, uh, I'll get <laughs> my sword and shield out. As soon, um, you guys are both all behind them and you see those two and they're walking along and, and they're walking and they just slam into something, like into an invisible wall. Thunk! And you hit the bong go off. And Zarek's sword and shield kind of clatter against it. And they stand back and tell me what you want to do. You just slam what felt like into a concrete wall or a 
stone wall. Step back. It's kind of this sort of echoey sound goes off. <laughs> I like to think that we all kind of <laughs> walk oh, into him and smush him against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. What did you stop for? What the heck I'll was touch that? the. Uh, I'll touch it and see the, the wall. Okay, you put your hand on it. Uh, it has a slight like. It's not. Um, as you slowly put your hand on it, it kind of gives a little bit, but you feel the force, and then it gets solid, and you kind of feel vibration going through it. But it's just like a, it's like a pane of glass. I'll take the my dagger out and just tap it with the butt end, the metal part. Look what kind of bonk, bonk, make a bonk. sound. It makes a sound of uh, a um, a glass, like an aquarium underwater. Thunk, thunk, thunk. I'm gonna cast Dispel Magic. Okay. What level? Third level. Okay. Uh, Isaac, I forgot to tell you, whenever you cast Detect Magic and I give you the school of that sickle, the yeah. school of the cloak that Eric is wearing is uh, Conjuration. Mm. Okay. You cast Dispel Magic, um, it goes off. No effect. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. Um. Hello? I'm just going to try and push in really hard. Okay. Slow, methodically. Give me a strength check. You guys are about 30 minutes away from the 20. forest. <laughs> So you're pushing on this thing, and you you push in a little bit, and it's um, like the slower you push, it kind of gives a little bit, but it does it doesn't allow you through. Hmm. You guys are kind of in the open right now. I'm gonna put my hand on it and follow it around to the side, and just keep going for a little while. East or west? I'll go. Maybe go west, right? Yeah. Okay. You start following it, and you're going 5, 10, 15 feet, and it's there the whole way. Wait, which way did he decide to go? He went east? He went east. Okay. You go west. Why don't y'all go west? I'll go west. It's there as well. How far? Does it, is it curved, or is it just it's flat? It's probably so big that it might be curved, and you just can't tell. Because we can see into the distance. How far could it possibly go? Yeah, you can see the mountains up ahead. Um... There are trees up there. You um, you can just barely make out the base of the mountains. Um, I'll look around. Is there anyone else out here? Not in the vicinity. Can I I'll tell that that's what's making it. the smell? Pong, pong, pong. Hello? Uh, no, Zarek, you smell... Th Give me a perception check. You sniff. No, it is not the wall that's giving the smell off. Up six. You can't tell. Maybe it's the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just in, it's just in the air. Anyone here? I'll just tap on it again. No response. No response. Mm -hmm. Well, guess we could just keep going west. We have to go west anyway, right? I think we met. Let's mark this down on the map. Yeah, we can we can write we can mark this on a map and then notable feature invisible Bam. wall marked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, as long as we're going to the west, let's just I'm gonna keep running along. Until yeah, just it's keep gone. my hand on it. Okay. Yeah, it you're going west. So mm -hmm. as you go, it's it's you're walking five, ten, twenty, thirty feet. It's it's there. I'm like going to get out a ball bearing and just... You hit a zone as wall, we're walking, basically. Toss it up against like. it like a like a tennis ball. Just toss it up against it and catch it the whole time we're walking. Um, yeah. So I want Think. to know if the, if the sounds... Boom. If it ever sounds different as we're walking. No. Same okay. the whole way. Keep walking. Okay. Um, how far west do you want to go? Because you're going to start getting into the farms pretty 
within a few hours. Well, we may have cut this a little closer than we wanted to. Um, Should we double back? It's pretty dark. Like The lizard folk can't see well, right? That's right. Plus, they need those. Here. They need the sun to warm up and move around. Yeah, they're going to be napping all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a red lamp over them. <laughs> uh, I'll, as we're getting a little closer, I'll stop pinging the thing off of the wall. I'll just keep a hand on it. I think if we're just quiet, I try to just quietly walk past. Just keep an eye out. Yep. You make your way to that stone pedestal, which you find is is in your path. It just uh, just it would, if it would be just inside the pane of wall force, and not force, but the wall. Um, when you're walking, wall force. You walk along. <laughs> um, as you get to that stone pedestal, you feel it curve slightly to the north. So it's going east, so slightly to the north. Like it's going to make a little slot for the stone pedestal? Pedestal would be just inside that where that curve is. Like you get to that pedestal, but it's just on the other side of this wall. Can it, does it have any words on it or anything? Give me a perception check. You don't see anything. It just looks like, it looks like a really old pile of stones. Boy, do. Nice. Oh. 15. Um, no, um, but uh, as you're looking at the pedestal, you can see a little bit of movement behind the pedestal. Out, there's a, there's a pile of, of, there's a mound out a couple hundred yards, and you can see some movement around that mound. And um, as you look at that, a little bit beyond that, towards around the base of where the mountain starts to go up, um, it looks like there's, I wouldn't say a settlement, but there's some sort of constructions over there. Look at the ball bearing back out. Mm hmm. And I want to just throw it as high as I can and into this wall. Okay. You Does it bounce off? Throw it up there, and just as if it's goes as if it goes straight up, bink bounces off of it. Hmm. Feel feel around towards the bottom where this curve is. Mm -hmm. Feel around towards the bottom for a hole of some kind. It goes down. And it hits. It meets the ground. Where's well, guys, cast. <laughs> Can we dig under this. <laughs> dig under this wall. <laughs> It goes all the way into the ground. Hmm. I actually don't have old earth. I think we might be getting to the point where we got to double back. Yeah, I think we're going... This thing might be enormous. Like, so big we can't pass it. Maybe that's why they haven't come this far. What Maybe if we have to go through the town? Maybe to that's why he told us not to go to that place. I don't know. If we can just keep walking west. Eventually we'll be able to go north. We just may have to go through the farms. Yeah, but that's dangerous. It would Even also be dangerous to try to climb a mountain. I'd, I'd rather take the mountain than an army of lizard folk. I just had risk here on that one. We know the risks when we go through the town. I have no idea what lives in the mountains. We have to take the mountains! <laughs> Do I have any idea uh, of what might in the mountains? No. You see what might be in the mountains, is that what you said? Yeah, like what might live up there that would be dangerous? Um, You know those little dragon, those little dragonlings you, um, you met? They were from the mountains. <laughs> you want to go fight some dragons? <laughs> or do you want to fight some lizard folk that can't see? I mean, they both speak the same language. Well, sure. <laughs> so, I mean, they're. I feel like that does two, not mean anything. <laughs> two sides of the same coin. Okay. I'm getting that. Both one of them's like, 
one of them's like huge, and the other <laughs> one we can just kind of take out. I feel like. I mean, last time we were over here, we saw an army of these guys. I think the army is moving eastward, though. I mean, it's the been army a while. we saw was pretty far south of us. Generally, you don't keep all of your forces off the front line. Unless you're trying to protect something back here. And it seems like the hinge is where they were trying to protect. I think we went through the thickest of it. We can maybe just where did, keep going. Where did they until say they speak. took my sister? Um. Ooh, who said it was Talon, it her? Right? It was yeah, I think she, I think she said north to Talon. That's where Yendra was trying to go as well, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what do you everybody think? Should we go west or east? I think time is valuable, and I don't think that going east is going to save us any time at all. Let's just go with the vote. I'll vote everybody. West. Yeah, I guess we can just keep following it. I'm fine with that. Unless we yes. want to go somewhere else. Like, no, I'm we're we're on a vote. <laughs> east or west, pick one. West. That's what I just said. We'll go west <laughs> until it seems like it's not useful anymore. No more anymore. ideas. We got two already. <laughs> we got two. <laughs> can go west. I'll just go west. All right. West. We're already doing that. Going back would <laughs> suck. He's totally right. We've already walked this far. <laughs> Why were we even considering east? <laughs> Going back would suck. My just... legs are small. I have to walk twice as far as you guys. You continue we walking. Well, so it has it has veered off a little bit north west now. It's kind of mm -hmm. curved 45 degrees. Are you going to stick with the wall? I don't have a 45 degree thing I can put in here. <laughs> <laughs> My wall's a 90 degree thing. So, um, no 45 degree walls. So, it gets to this fire. point and it kind of goes like that direction. Well, from what you can tell, it goes that way. No, oh, yeah. See, that's fine. It is fine. If it's round, we'll eventually get to go north, right? <laughs> yeah, I think we just, we just follow it. Follow the wall. Um, I'll get a stick so I can use the stick to see the wall. <laughs> Clink, 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 clink. Just throw a flower at it every few feet. <laughs> yeah. Are you testing the wall as you walk? You just walk have a hand on it, yeah. Okay. Um, you, so you're getting around. It's getting close to dark. Well, close to end. Close to nighttime. Um, and close to sleepy time. You're, you get to about 30 minutes before sleep time. So another about three hours or so, and you're going just straight. And you start to you see in the distance another one of those stone pedestals. Way off in the distance. Um, and your hand is on it. And as you are just kind of brushing alongside, walking along the thing, you feel what feels like a, a wrinkle in it. A wrinkle? Mm-hmm. It's best described as a wrinkle. So I'm even walking. Hey, hey, come feel this part right here. What is that? Oh, go feel that part right there. It feels like a wrinkle. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, here, let me see your finger real quick, and I'll like rub it on a wrinkle in my head. <laughs> you know, it doesn't exactly feel the same. <laughs> you 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 follow you feeling this all around? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Investigating the wrinkle. Investigate. The, give me an investigation check. Let's roll some dice. Oh man. I'll investigate this wrinkle. I will guide him. Oh, fell off into the ocean. Sunny Cheeks is just average at investigating. 17 for me. 14 for Everybody's going to get guided, so I'm just going to be like, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Check out this wrinkle. So everyone's everyone's over here feeling the wall. Um, and you you follow it down, this wrinkle down, and it gets, it starts to feel like, it's like rubbing your hand on broken glass, but not the broken, not the sharp bits. It's kind of like almost caved in a little bit. 
Like it's rock instead of being smooth glass feeling, it's all yeah. rocky and and um, broken feeling towards the bottom. And you get to the very bottom, um, and it's a really small like gap, like maybe it's two feet around, but you feel there's a hole. Ooh. Uh, how Sunny big? cheeks will how slide through the About hole. About two feet. Yeah, you could About squeeze. Two feet. You could squeeze okay. through there. I think all of you but Krog could probably squeeze through. Krog might be able to squeeze through if he really tries. <laughs> <laughs> One arm at a time goes One through. Arm. Dislocate your shoulders, Krog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, Krog, lay on your back. Stick your arms through. We'll start pulling. Um, your investigation no. check. Who got that? What's yours, David? And mine is a. Uh... 15 plus oh. another 4 with that guidance. I got 19. 19. 19. Okay, 19. okay. So, yeah, the, the 19's 19 for sure. Um, the druid sees this too. There, it looks like there's some sort of as as you're looking through the dirt that's at the base of this, um, there are some, like, claw marks around. Not a lot. As if maybe they've been there all, it was a long time ago, but there is some signs of traffic. Claws. Yeah. I get. Are we, are we just going to try to climb through here? How how far does my hand? I go already through? climbed through it. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go too. What do I'm, you see mm -hmm. in there? How how uh, far do you have wait, to, to crawl? I I mean the wall's invisible. You can see in here. Can you see in there, or does it change once you get past? No. Nope. You see, he's he's right there. He's standing right in front of you. Can you hear me? <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a hole. Um, step on the hole. Can you still hear me? <laughs> Sunny cheeks. You step in there, and so it's twilight outside. You yeah. get in here. It's a little bit different. Like it should be twilight right now. Anyway, it's about that time. Sun's going down. Yeah. But something's different about this twilight. It's a little bit darker. Like, there's actually, like, a day-night cycle in here. Give me a nature check, Druid. I will. I'm not very good at nature, though. I'm half through. I'm going to tap him. Guidance. <laughs> <laughs> what does guidance give? D4. D4. Saren, you step in. Four. Okay. Yeah, it's... It, it seems like that... It, it seems darker like it should be right now. Yeah. Saren, as soon as you crawl through, that feeling you had where Mithra was with you, you're back to your old ways. There's you've lost that feeling. And it's gone, gone. And this this gone. big wall surrounds <laughs> the mountain. You don't know. Oh, okay. Can't see then it. Was I able to cast guidance on him? Yes. Okay. Okay. You <laughs> feel as you did a week ago. I got that feeling, and I went. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how is it in there? It did. Uh, it's, it's nice. It's great. The, set, the 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 moon's back. Went on yeah. on this side on on the previous side. Looks like twilight. As you go through, you can see you notice a shift as you go through. Tight squeeze. Are we going to sleep in there for the night? Uh, I mean, yeah, we could. Okay. We better make a note of this hole in the wall since the wall's invisible and everything. <laughs> you going in, Zarek? Yeah. Ooh, that smell. You know that smell anywhere. Oh, man. That's, that's demon smell. Oh, inside here? Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, devil smell in D&D &D land. You smell that. When you went to war with those... Uh, the devil folk. Just, there were cities. Their okay. cities reeked of this. I don't know if we should stay in here, guys. How thick is the wall? It's. Uh, you can feel your hand around it, less than an inch, real thin. Krog's like halfway through. I'm like, hang on, hang on. You might not. He's <laughs> 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 he's in there. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> we should get out of here. Really? I thought we were going to sleep in here. Uh, 
The smell. If it stinks real bad, I, if it stinks I, like I'll sulfur. Be, I'll be honest. I, I don't want to be in here either. It doesn't. I, I, it doesn't I, stink. It just has a very distinct smell that you no know one can place, but Zarek knows it because he has oh. been in places where the smell has been has been prevalent. Maybe yeah, we no. just set up the dome in here for the night, and then. We well, are we not? Thing. Are are we headed in towards the middle of this thing? Our final destination is, I think, a not. Because I think that it's turned like this, mm -hmm. right? And we're going over here. So if uh, this continues, then it's going to be like maybe like that or something. Okay. So well, then, yeah, we don't need to be in like here. That. But if if it's a different twilight in there, I want to know what morning looks like. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, we might be able to get a better look ahead if it's daytime <laughs> and then go out and go. Sure. I mean, I don't mind being oh, in here. There are you, demonic things in here. That he, was reading, like. he was reading that thing about sanctuaries, right? They made sanctuaries. Mm -hmm. What if this is one of those places? Maybe it is. We can, if, if you think that it's going to be light in the morning, we can just sleep and then... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna set up the dome. Is there any place around that we can like get into like some foliage or anything? Give me a survival check. Oh, do I remember how difficult? I at survival. Do I remember how difficult that war was with the uh, the demon folk or the uh, twenty three? We rolled the same. Nice. Wow. Um, your people won. So, being a um like a private in the uh, in the cobalt army. You're pretty sure everything went perfectly, exactly as planned. The general said, this is what's going to happen, and that's what happened. When something seemed a little bit like maybe that shouldn't have happened, it was planned. Mm. I'm just giving you the private doesn't know anything. They just do what they're told to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well. Uh, what was that survival check? That was a really good, wasn't it? 23. Yeah, okay. 23. Yeah, you can, you can find a good um, – it's getting a little more rocky in here. But you can find a uh, a nice little hole. You can dig yourselves into a small cave. Yeah, we can turn that. We can make the outside of the dome look like a rock. So as as we're talking about this, I will like this was be it. standing by the hole. Okay. And I'm going to take a crossbow bolt and reach outside the hole and just sort of try to stick a in there, stick it in the ground, maybe sticking out of the ground about that much, just so I have a marker. Okay, it's gonna be tough to get it that far that down. Hole was. <laughs> you can try. I can I can break it in half. Okay. Okay. I got a hammer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can get it in there. That's and fine. Then, and then I'm gonna count the paces to wherever we're setting up the dome so that I can make sure I don't want to get stuck in here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you find a, it's like a little like a den basically. Uh, if you figure some creature probably lived here at some point. The hole gets repaired overnight. <laughs> that would be not so very good. <laughs> <laughs> it moves every day. <laughs> yeah, this thing's constantly moving. That hole could be on the ce on the ceiling by tomorrow. <laughs> oh, we're we're in cube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you guys are setting up your your camp, uh, it's getting dark. Stars are coming out. Ooh. Um, one star in particular, uh, which I'll tell you that in a minute because it doesn't come out yet. It's dark. Um. Give me your watch. Is it usual as, as it is? Give me some percep perception checks. Yep. For 25. I cannot roll like this on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Where's, where's Isaac? There he is. Um, Isaac, you, uh, so Eru, as you're sitting there watching, you're sitting in the tent or in the dome and looking out. Um, as it gets darker in here, you can see there are some lights uh, where where Saren was seeing some sort of construction way out, way out there. Uh, but it's dark now, and it's pretty flat. There is some lights of civilization to the northeast. Um, you don't want to see anything else, though. It's quiet. You're a little bit too enamored by the darkness. I will meditate and then get up before sunrise. Okay. <laughs> Saren... Um, as you're sitting there, you, you clearly see there's a settlement out, out there. Uh, it's kind of tucked into the rock, so it's, it's hidden well. 
Um, and you can see that there is it's like a couple things maybe flying around it. A couple creatures flying around. Um, during your watch, around the end of it, a very large red winged creature that you have clearly have... If that's a devil. It goes stomping by. Doesn't pay attention to you. You're in a nice little hole. Uh, no. Along with this... Uh, he's he's about the size of Krog. He's a little bigger. And he has a creature next to him that's just like the one that you guys killed in those woods. It's kind of burning. He's got like leathery, charred skin, kind of dog, lizard-like. And he's trotting along next to... Maybe trotting's the wrong word. Walking <laughs> next to this next to this devil dude as they seem to be just sort of out on like a, like a patrol. And they walk pretty close to your hut, but they don't notice anything just keep on walking the um we'll call it a dog he looks at your thing and sniffs a little bit but he kind of you gotta come on which you don't understand and he goes along with you what language do you speak uh dwarvish and elvish yeah oh, i don't oh. think i speak okay common druidic halfling and primordial he says something in a some sort of guttural language and the creature follows along and he continues walking and he the way that he is, he kind of is working, walking parallel to the wall. He's about, you know, a couple hundred yards from the wall, walking parallel to it. And just kind of, he's not really paying much attention to what's going on on that side, but he's just going about his business. Zarek, you wake up. I got, I got a 12. Yeah, your watch is pretty quiet. Um, it's dark. And you're waiting for that star to rise. It does not. Hmm. That star that you have that you saw appear is not here. And the and Eru, you're meditating. You notice it as well as you wake up. Um, other than that, it's pretty quiet here. Just that smell. This is what we've been waiting for, Zirik. Let's see if the sun comes up. Twilight hits. The orb of the sun begins to crest the horizon. The morning is here. It's light. Hmm. I like that. That is nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop the dome and just let the sun, the morning sun, hit us. Oof. Never knew how much I missed that. that. <laughs> look at that mm -hmm. look at that building off in the distance uh it's stone it's still a long way out give me a perception check um it doesn't seem like a lot of activity around it right now there is a central building that you notice mm, eight and there's, there's a <laughs> lot you saw last night with the lights around you know there's little buildings around it but you it's a central building and a bunch of little ones around it kind of tucked into the side of the mountain not get anything new today, though, other than you saw it better last night with the lights. Huh. Camouflage as well against the mountain. What would you like to do? If we look towards uh, Ikora Farms. It looks like um, the sun is coming up. The sun's coming up. Well, from uh, that side, but um, it looks light over there. Looks like, looks like it always used to before the twilight thing. Can we see anything moving around there? Mm -mm. You're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Well, at the very least, we got some sun. Because it is really um, nice. <laughs> I look straight at the sun. <laughs> I'm one now. Krog, stop, Krog. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes are sizzling. Look at him, SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carl, get back in that hole. Get it. Go. Yeah, I go back. Back through the hole. Back, back through the hole. Okay. As soon as you crawl through that hole, it's twilight again. Ah, oh, it's really depressing now that. <laughs> Do I feel uh, Mithra again? Yeah. As soon as you stick your head through that hole, she's back. Okay. No, I feel hey, better. They get the smell stronger uh, when I face the city, or no it smells. Through the hole. Could, could yeah. I tell from it was from the city? No, just just okay. the, just kind of get it off the 
I'm just going to smell it. It's off the wind. Okay, right. hey, you all crawl through the hole and begin walking northwest. I really miss the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how much I missed it. We could have taken a day, I think. Just sat there. What we're doing mind. is important. Yeah. I don't mind the permanent twilight. I like the clouds anyways. Um, you walk, uh, you got another one of those stone pedestals, and as you get to that pedestal, it bends a little bit more. Almost like a, um, you can kind of gather it's got a bit of a octagonal shape to it. Hmm. I left the, uh, the crossbow bolt. Okay. Um, and you begin your walk, um, west towards the fire caves, and that's where we're going to end. All right. Nice. So I didn't, have, I didn't have a, a big finale for you. I had one, but you didn't make it there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're excited. We're going to go for one Was more it week in a row. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, let's go run at that devil town. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not necessarily uh... devils. It's just he smelled that smell when he was there. He smells it and here we as well. saw one walking by. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Besides that part. I saw a mammoth of a being. <laughs> With a dog that was on fire, yeah. <laughs> At least we know where they, they're coming from. They're getting out of that little hole those dogs are. All right. Thanks oh, yeah. for watching. We'll be here Monday. We'll, we'll be back here next, Tuesday, next Thursday. We won't be here Monday. We'll be around Monday. Yeah. We'll be around on Monday. Bye. Will we continue the streak yeah. of like what, like five Thursdays in a row? Yeah, it's been five Thursdays know. in a row. A streak. I should stop counting, otherwise we'll ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> stop Bye. reminding us of how long it's been. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. yeah.